Texas. Oh, yeah, we meet every weekend at Ivan's house. Yeah, yeah. We play Texas Hold'em. <laughs> Not too much. No, yeah. Not too much. Everyone's busy. Yeah. It's being re-released re now in this DVD set. Do you think that it will hold the same sort of appeal for a, a younger generation? Well, I hope so. We get told all the time, hey, I love that movie, or I show it to my kids. And kids sort of discover these movies on their own. Uh, we're having kind of a renaissance. They, uh, Sony just... Uh, brought out Stripes again, you know, a movie we made almost 20 years ago, yeah. and uh, and now both of these Ghostbuster movies, I'm feeling good. Right, so <laughs> you get some kind of take or something on this, right? Come on. I hope so. Oh, yeah. Give us a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, can we go take a look at the car? Because oh, the yeah. car Ecto-1, right, is That's here. That's the real deal. The real deal. So okay. this was actually the car that was used in the filming. Yes. Okay, wait, and tell me, it's a 1959 what? It's, it's a, a Cadillac. Cadillac. It's a 59 Cadillac? I yeah. Think. We couldn't remember. Danny's idea was that uh, we'd, we'd bought this con ambulance and converted it. And Ackroyd actually had sketches of all the equipment and stuff. Here we go. All right. And we used to drive this around New York. Now, what was that like, driving no one this around? Knew, no one knew about Ghostbusters. So, and, you know, when you make a shot, you have to get back to where you started. So uh, no one knew it was, it was even part of a movie. They'd see this thing going down the street. And then With go, the lights, just like this, equipped like this. Yeah, they'd say, hey, what's that? we just go, Ghostbusters. They go, oh, <laughs> Ghostbusters. <laughs> so, you spent a lot of time in it, so why don't you get behind did. the wheel? I was always in the back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Back wall you never got to drive. drive. You didn't get to that drive? Was, yeah, I was in the drive techie, all the time. Yeah. Well, does it do Pop anything? There, buddy. Does it do anything special now? Uh, not well, that this you, works. Not that you would Nothing know. works. None of this means anything. Nothing means anything. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. You know, yeah. we just tried to do the best we can. It was a lot of flashing lights. Everything was flashing lights. Uh, any, any great stories during, well, I would tell, during the filming? Uh, I would always, the great stories, in terms of the Ectomobile, it's so hard to get around in New York anyway. I would just say, okay, here's what we have to accomplish on this shot. And you think you can get back here in five minutes? Just and Danny was such a good driver yeah. that uh, I could count on him to sort of get back. They put the lights on, and people would get out of the way like it was a real ambulance. But Murray and Aykroyd are two of the great joy riders of all time. You know that we were always off on some side track. You know, and then Bill was not you know above taking a car like this off road if necessary. You know. So. Give us, give us some little piece of trivia that, that maybe perhaps we don't know about. about. Oh, there was a day we were shooting on Central Park West. A big shot. The whole there's this earthquake going on right? and the yes. whole building's falling apart. And it shut down Central Park West, and then it shut down 65th and 66th going through the park. So yeah. that shut down Fifth Avenue, and that shut down the whole east side. And then it shut down Columbus Circle, which shut down 9th and 8th and yeah. Broadway. People were very happy with oh, Broadway. Yeah, we effectively closed down Manhattan. Yeah, that's All that lovely, out. lovely. And people thought it was real. Yeah. You know, people in buses I've were been, stuck over there and said, oh, my God. I've uh, been Reitman and Harold Ramis. It's so good to see you.